Cuba has been on the terrorism list even longer since 1982, and officials and Havana in the U.S. are anxiously awaiting an appeals court ruling on the fate of five men convicted of spying for Fidel Castro's government. Nearly nine years after their arrest, the five could win their freedom, something that does not sit well in Miami's Cuban exile community. Here's Kelly Cobiella. This is the plane you were flying that day? The memories are 11 years old, but still make Jose Basulto red with anger. And I'm sorry if I look pissed, but I am. The Cuban exile was flying a private plane toward Cuba in February 1996 when he saw a flash and smoke. Cuban fighter pilots shot down two other private planes flying alongside Basulto, killing four of his friends. They had been on a mission with Brothers to the Rescue, a Cuban exile group which had flown into Cuban airspace before to drop anti-Castro leaflets over Havana. Cuban spies had infiltrated the group and told the Castro government they were coming. The Cuban five are murderers. This spy ring was tasked by the Cuban government. The U.S. government charged and convicted the spies for infiltrating Cuban exile groups and attempting to steal U.S. military secrets. The spies are appealing their convictions on the basis it was impossible to get a fair trial here in Miami, where hating Fidel Castro is practically a pastime and has in the past escalated to real violence against Cuba. The Cuban government says these men were only protecting their country against exiles who posed a threat. Militant Cuban exile groups were openly training in South Florida in the 90s. And Cuban exiles had been linked to a string of hotel bombings in Cuba. In Cuba, the spies are known as the five heroes, wrongfully imprisoned. Meanwhile, the man Havana considers responsible for the worst of terrorism in Cuba, Luis Posada Carriles, is a free man living legally in Miami. Posada is accused of bombing a Cuban airliner in 1976, killing 73 passengers. To Cubans, he's a symbol of U.S. hypocrisy in the war on terror. This is a festering injustice. Leonard Weinglass represents one of the five, Antonio Guerrero, in the appeal to have the convictions overturned. I think we absolutely can win this trial in any venue in the United States outside of Miami. We didn't uh, attack anybody. We didn't use violence. We didn't use war. We just used what that is uh, referred now in America as human intelligence. The exile community calls the Cuban Five killers. The Cuban government says the U.S. would not hesitate to shoot down any plane that invaded America's airspace. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Miami.